A very colorful art exhibit in Mesa is going to attract an unlikely crowd, the colorblind. So this special experience includes a pair of glasses that expands the color spectrum for them. Spencer Blake caught up with some people who got to see those true colors for the very first time. Oh, that's a trip. <laughs> The Mesa Contemporary Arts Museum now offers color accessibility. I did not think there were that many colors in this. The exhibit uses Enchroma glasses, which use a light filtering technique to help guests affected by red-green color vision deficiency. Those who have it only see about 10% of the normal color spectrum. And many colors appear dull, muted, or difficult to discern. Trying to explain what I'm seeing to somebody else who's seen something completely different it can get frustrating. Two of the first people to try the glasses were Bodie and Soren Wallace. That's green, but yeah, so you usually see it as yellow. The brothers are both colorblind, which means painting? they had never seen their dad's paintings as they really are. We didn't know that our sons were colorblind until more recently, so I've always been painting with bright colors and was surprised that they couldn't see them like I can see them. The sky is more red. It feels much better. The exhibit actually has these glasses available to anyone who comes to see the artwork, whether or not they're colorblind. I see yellow. Vicki Wildermuth works at the museum. Her colorblindness makes it hard for her to even discern street lights or signs. I'm, I'm in hopes that it opens up a whole new world for me because I do tend to shy away from a lot of the exhibits. Putting on the glasses opened up a whole new world for her. That is seriously wicked. The colorful exhibits will be up until January. I'm seeing darker colors. It looks brown, but it's purple. Not all, all one big. of multiple rays. Uh-huh. But the glasses will be available for guests indefinitely. It's magical, kind of, you know, it's like this really special thing. In Mesa, Spencer Blake for Arizona's family.